Hi guys, welcome back to the Talking Rangers YouTube channel. Today it's match day against Charlton. Hopefully we can put right what went so wrong last week and hopefully we can get the three points today, bring them back to West London, climb the table, come on you ours. The lineups are just in. Um, we've seen Cameron come in for Amos after his kind of poor performance last week and coming off at half time as well. Um, no changes to the attack. Um, I maybe thought Shadipo could start, but Chair, Amos, Eze and Hugo have all retained their places in the starting lineup. We've seen um, Kakai and Gubbins come onto the bench today. So hopefully we've got a couple more options on the bench and utilise the five subs. I'll predict the game to be 1-1 as I did in my preview this week. Uh, I think they'll score first and I think we'll get one back. But I think we'll be fighting late on in the game, but I don't think we'll get the winner. Hopefully I'm proved wrong. Hopefully, like I say, we get the three points. But um, yeah, so you're going to see my post-match thoughts and the fan cam. So drop a like, subscribe to the channel and let's get straight into the game. Good. Go on. Oh. 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 Go on. What? <sighs> For what ref? Go on. <sighs> what is that? Here we go. Oh, it's a. It's half time at the valley. Ref! Go on! Pen! Pen! Go on! Maybe she's not quick. Go on! Oh! Oh! Go on! Oh! Kane, you're shocking. Oh! Back to back losses. So the score has just finished 1 0 at the Valley. QPR have lost 1 0. Back to back defeats for the R's. Another poor, poor performance. Um, absolutely devastating. This time we didn't start as badly as we did against Barnsley, but we gave away a stupid goal. Arguably, Kelly could have saved it. I think it was quite close to him, headed from a corner. Um, I think he should have been picked up a bit better, but should have been prevented that one. Um, We had 64.5% possession in that game. And from that, we created one shot on target. And don't get me started on that shot. Hugo, what? he's about seven yards out and he's he's hit it straight at the keeper. Another, another unbelievable chance he's had, just like last week. And again, he's been unable to score. I do not want him next season. No way. Uh, he's not good enough. And the fact that he thinks he can get in West Ham's team is actually quite hilarious. He's just not good enough. It was just a lack of creativity, a real lack of movement up front. Samuel was again so off the pace, he didn't have a clue what to do. Um, every time Rangel got the ball, he was demanding some movement from him. He didn't know whether to come short, he didn't know whether to try and spin off from his man, he didn't know whether to try and get him behind. In the end, he just stood there, just kind of looking disinterested. Um, I think Chair actually did quite well with the... Uh, the times he did get on the ball, he was battling, he was scrapping, he was fighting for it in areas which and winning balls that weren't his. Um, and I think really he should have taken Samuel off and not Chair. Um, Hugo, half the time I thought he was playing, the times he did, he did get on the ball, he lost the ball, um, he missed chances. We had the ball so much in our half 
and we had nothing to show for it. Yeah, okay, Charlton got a lot of players behind the ball, but we had we had no luck with trying to pass through them. So why not why not try and put a few you know a few balls to the box, test them, test their aerial ability, see if they can get the ball clear. We didn't even give it a go. Um, such a poor performance again. Back to back defeats against the bottom side of the league and a side who are nineteenth in the league. What's happened? What has happened to this team? They look like, you know, all the things we were doing so well previously have just, have just forgotten, forgotten everything that's got us to the great point that we were in this season. Ah, oh, so frustrating. So let's get on to what you guys highly requested after the last one, and that was some individual match ratings. We'll start off with Kelly. I've given him a six out of ten. Um, I actually think he did quite well in the game. He got called upon quite a lot. Um, mm. He was playing sweeper keeper for quite a lot of it. The ball's been played over the top and he got them clear. Okay, yeah, he could have done better for the goal, but there was a couple of good saves he made as well. Um, and I think he actually had an all right game. And you move on to Rangel. I've given him a six as well. Um, he played so much better than he did against Barnsley. Um, I didn't really think he put a, put a foot wrong too often in the game. A lot of the times he didn't really have much option, many options on. He did well defensively. Didn't really put, like I say, didn't really make too many mistakes. Uh, next up, Masterson. Um, I've given Masterson a six. Likewise, don't worry. Not everyone in this video is a six. Um, I think he really struggled for fitness at the end of the game, but he actually did quite well. Um, he got a lot of balls clear. He did well in the air, and yeah, I think he just had a sad six, which is pretty average. Um, next got Barbe. I've given him a five. Gave away some stupid fouls, um, a lot of misplaced passes, and I'm just a bit unsure on how I feel about him being captain. Um, he just doesn't see, really seem to be much believer at the moment, but hopefully he can prove me wrong. But he needs to he needs to buck his ideas up if he wants to be our captain going forwards. Uh, and then it's got Manning. Um, I've given him a six. I actually don't think he had a bad game either. Um, Ikeda get caught out a couple of times. You could maybe give him number five, maybe a five point five. You could say it's fair for Manning. Um, but I think he did quite well going forward. He got up and down the the left side really well. Did find us some good width. But yeah, um, that's the thing. I don't really think they tested us that much defensively. Like the goal was just from a corner. But um, yeah, uh, next got ball. Um, I've number five. A couple of people saying that's the worst the worst performance he's had in a QPR shirt. Um, I thought he did all right in the first half, but second half he was poor and he was rightly taken off. Um, again, he's got to do better. It's just <sighs> the team is just just so poor at the moment. Um, hopefully, we can back, get back to how he was. Um, I'll give him Cameron a five. Also, um, a couple of his touch was off. I mean, like I say, it's harder for <sighs> harder for him. He hasn't played. This that, that was his first introduction since the resumption of the season. Obviously, he was suspended for the last game. I don't think he did too badly, but. Yeah, a couple of times he just gave the ball away cheaply and got caught out. And I say ball as well, he gave the he gave the ball away a lot. So yeah, like I said, given both of those two a five. Um now you may disagree with this one, but I've given Samuel a four. Like I've touched upon, I was quite disappointed with him. Um he just didn't look like he had the fighting spirit, he didn't have the determined to go the extra mile. He kinda you know, he was giving the ball away, okay, yeah, Charlton at some points were doubling up on him, but not as much as Barnsley. And yeah, he's just in a bad. He's in a bit of bad form at the moment. Hopefully, he can pull through it because he has got the quality. But yeah, I think a four to be honest. He didn't really create much in the game. Uh, really lacked movement and his directness. Where we've seen him beating players, he just um, just a shadow of his past self at the moment. Next up, we got Biriese. Um, I've given him a five. Like I say, like like in Barnsley game, um, real glimpses of quality. Sometimes he drive at players, but. Um, Sometimes his end product wasn't there. Sometimes you know he gave the ball away again, like a lot of the players in this game. But it's kind of hard to judge Jose when you know he's that creative player in the middle of the field and he's not really got Hugo being anywhere for him or Samuel kind of not really creating many options. So it's kind of hard to judge his end product. But he did have a lot of shots. Again, like in the Barnsley game, a lot of shots, a lot off target, and he's just got really improve on his on his shooting. Um, next up, we've got Chair. Um, I've given Chair a five. Like I said previously, I don't think he actually played too badly. Um, I think he did. I think he was. I think he played better than better than Samuel. But again, for these creative players, it's kind of their performance is hindered on how well the players do. The players are doing in front of them, um, as to what chances they can 
can create and like I say Hugo doesn't really create anything for them so I think probably a five is chair is fair for chair but um yeah now we've got Jordan Hugo I've given him a two a big fat two um yeah okay you could argue that he didn't really get much of the ball in the first half but he's got to do more he has got to do more yeah okay he ran around a lot he worked hard but when you're called upon in a game like that and you're given such a fantastic chance. You're seven yards out and you hit straight at the keeper. It's just poor. It's just shocking. Um, like in the last game, at the moment we're not creating that many chances and when we do, you need to be putting those away. And like I, like I always think of it, um, Wells would have, scored the, would have scored that chance in the Barnsley game and Wells would definitely scored that again today. His striker makes all the difference and at the moment he's the difference in us, in us getting something out of the game. Shocking performance from today. Um, I think I think we should just start Ote. I don't think he deserves to be in the starting lineup for the next game. So um, now we we'll move on to the substitutes. I'm only going to give a match rating for two substitutes because some of them is unfair. They didn't really get that much time, so it's hard to judge them. And for me to give him a score is kind of unfair. I am going to give a score to Kane though, and he was absolutely abysmal for the time he was on the pitch. He was also getting a two. Um, I think he must have given the ball away about ten times and about. 20 minutes he was on um, yeah for me Rango was just much better much better right back than him he's got no confidence at the moment it's hard for me to slate him and I don't normally criticise players as much as I do today but Kane that was that was shocking um, yeah I think for there was a, I remember the chance that I can't, um, Kelly saved it down to his right and Kelly was absolutely furious with the defending he kind of just, just just watched the player past him and gave the ball away so much and yeah, it was just a waste. I'm giving him a two. Uh, Shadipo did come on, and I thought he actually did quite well. Again, changing the game, I'd have preferred it if he'd come on for, for Samuel. But um, he'd made a brilliant chance for Hugo. Um, he darted forward, hit the ball pass, and the players in charged. But Hugo was, of course, offside. Um, yeah, he changed the game, and I'd give him a six. I think that's kind of fair. Like I say, for the substitutes, it's hard to judge because they haven't really had as much time, and you can't really compare them to the ones that have started. I'm not going to give a rating to Ote, Batash and Amos, although I do think Ote got about well. Um, you know, he looked lively, didn't really get a chance, so it's, like I say, I can't really judge him. Batash actually also did quite well when he came on, put some good crosses, didn't really lose the ball, looked kind of creative, but um, yeah, we could potentially see him in the next couple of games. I'm not really going to give him a score because it's kind of unfair. Also, Amos, I actually think Amos did, did really well when he came on, um, some good tackles. Like I said, spread the ball wide, got got the play going, but yeah, I'm not really going to judge him. So, another loss, another week. Um, on to the next game now on Tuesday. We've got to really sort this out. Um, what changes do you guys make? Um, I'd start Shadipo. Now, I picked it in the last one, I thought he could, but I'd definitely start him today. I think Samuel needs to be dropped. You guys may disagree on how harsh I'm being on Samuel, but we know how good he is. And when he's not performing at these levels, then... You know he needs to he needs to be proven that he's not going to start no matter what, and he's got to, he's got to sort himself out. Um, maybe give Ote a start. I'd I'd you know I'd be happy with that. I'd drop Hugo. Can't be missing chances like that week in week out. Um, I'd probably keep Ball and Cameron in again, and I wouldn't change the back four. Keep Kelly in. So yeah, it's probably what I'd do. Let me know what you guys do for the next game. And um, yeah, that's a wrap for the next match day video. Another disappointing one, but I'll see you in the next one.